Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chachi. You're Filipina from Las Vegas. And for today's video, we are using the Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm Palette from the Vault Collection. And I did use the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Eyeshadow Palette. I also have the Bling Boss Eyeshadow Palette, but there is something that I want to discuss and get your opinions. Because I used this palette last Friday when I went to dinner with friends and something did not go right. Like, if you want to know what it is, just keep on watching. I have all it, pictures and stuff like that in the video. So, if you want to know how I created this look and also what happened using the Bling Boss Eyeshadow Palette, just keep on watching and I will be right Hi guys, and we're back. Bare face. I used the Cara Beauty for my eye primer today. The same Anastasia and I set it with the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder. So on for today's video, I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill, the Vault Collection Palette, the Ring the Alarm specifically. I'm going to go in with Rush. So for this Vault Collection, I got this one like Black Friday. But unfortunately, the Bling Boss one, it always makes my eye like red worry and it has that mucus thingy and it's kind of like an eye infection if i'm not mistaken and my eyes would be like that for like good three four days so luckily when i use it it was a friday and i was not gonna film or or i have a backup video that's scheduled to upload because it was bad so I will put, insert a picture, so just to show you guys what happened with my eye. So I know this palette has uh, 12 months for expiration, but unfortunately, I just got this one November on the Black Friday sale. And I'm sorry, I'm like, you know, saying this not to be mean, but that was my experience. First, and that is only a second time I used that eyeshadow palette. Way back when I did a review and when I had a dinner with my friends the other day and i used that palette and same thing it happened like i mean kind of like push it out of the rug under the rug the first one because sometimes i i was like thinking maybe it's the mascara and going in for my second color uh so it's gonna be alert this one right here so yeah i thought at first it might be my mascara or something like that because sometimes after a couple of use of mascara my eyes will make it water but the thing though first time i used it i used the nars extreme climax mascara which that i have been using for a long time so i kind of like you know didn't mind it but and i forgot that palette like it's just sitting under in my drawer right here so i figure like you know since i have I haven't used it in a while might as well that's the palette that I'm gonna use that day so I did and unfortunately my eyes was like that as well like what I said I will link I will show you pictures right here on the other side of the screen regarding my eyes so if you are easily to be grossed out I might as well you might as well just skip it because it is actually disgusting I'm just like thinking let me know in the comments down below because I just bought that one November black friday like what i said what could be the cost like might be my eye it might be the palette itself like is that a could probably an old palette that caused my eye irritation like i told myself if my eyes stay like that for like a couple of days if it stay like that for let's just say at least five days like that i'm going to the doctor because right now you know it stayed for like three days like that and like i was like the next day it's this i don't see any improvement Next day, my husband got me a different eye for the red eye drops. And I told my husband, like, you know, if it does not, you know, has any improvement, I'm going to the doctor, boo. And I don't really want to, like, you know, talk bad about something. But there was one. Yes, there's one of my subscribers. Uh, I don't know if she's even subscribed, but she did put a comment on that video that she was thankful for me that looking at my video November because that same palette actually just went on sale also on the Morphe website. So I am sorry because based on that review that I did, you know, she purchased that palette. And for me, that's a big thing to me. I feel like I should have used it again sooner and found out that that palette, you know, causes that. It might just be my palette. It might just be 
that certain one that I have but still I think it's my responsibility to like voice out what happened because she got that palette just because of my review and then I know it's also just six dollars but with people like me like other people six dollars is six dollars boo and actually that is my first palette that is the first eyeshadow palette that had that reaction towards my eyes sometimes mascara does that to me like let's just say the elf mascara that I bought um that's that to me the first time I used it I could already know because you know sometimes the mascaras do flake and then it goes to my eye and that will that's it my eyes gonna be super red and then you know it's a mascara they have a tendency to flake I would actually want to go further because I use this palette I use the bling boss palette and the NARS extreme climax mascara so if you guys want to see like a video I want to investigate further but I'm a little bit scared to take that risk again um probably if I have other video in stock free f I'm going to that, yeah, I'm going to free film videos for you guys and then I'm gonna try to investigate wearing makeup using just this palette Just this palette. I'm not gonna put mascara and all that stuff just to see if that's the cause Why I did get that eye infection and then I'm if it does not you know if it costs again like that Then technically this is the product that I use on my face on my eyeballs that causes that and then if not I'm gonna use a video. I'm gonna to make another video using the NARS orgasm mascara so let me just film a couple of video for you guys just in case it happened again because I won't be able to film serious you saw in the picture how my eyes was it was nasty for me is it like it's it's a tot correct me if I'm wrong is it Morphe sold super old palette because I got that one on discount uh, they discounted heavily on Black Friday so did I did they put that on discount because that's old palette just to get rid of those palettes because or if that's an old batch that they're trying to get rid of I don't think Jacqueline Hill would still have like you know they always say oh yeah Jacqueline Hill um always put a product and it's you know not good she's just trying to sell it like what happened with the lipstick but with this it's a collaboration with Morphe correct me if I'm wrong again like I know it's Morphe that produces this produces and manufacture those those eyeshadow palette not her she would probably do the i don't know i'm just assuming because i don't make makeup like i put makeup and i'm going in with frame just to let you guys know i don't know like what i said i am just assuming that you know where if someone collab with a makeup brand i would assume they like you know they will check you know they were okay with the formula they were okay for shades and stuff and then it's the morphe or uh, like morphe to face those big brands that mass produce it so it's or and then distribute it to the seller like ulta and stuff like that jacqueline hill does not have like enhance on that she probably like you know just the formulation just shade and all of that and especially that this palette has been out for like two years now my thing is like did morphe sold me a super old palette from two years ago put it on sale and then just have people buy it you know what i mean i only wish like and i do apologize for that one subscriber of mine that bought that palette because of my review i just really feel like i need to get it out there so that is my little rant regarding the jacqueline hill uh bling boss eyeshadow shadow palette but i will still try to make a video let me just have the courage basically do that video because i'm telling you it's like it's not nice having that kind of eye but this one right here the ring the alarm it does not cost me any like any eye irritation but i mix this one and this one that day we went to dinner with some of my co-workers and right about before leaving the restaurant i already feel like my eyes starting to itch i already feel like my eyes itches so bad and then went home me and my husband watched a movie and my eyes like starting to have that mucus thingy already and that is just my dinner was seven o'clock we were at home run about what 11 o'clock or like 12 o'clock and my eyes was red with mucus thingy right there i'm sorry if i'm grossing you out guys but i just want to put it out there what happened so if anybody would watch my video let, 
please let me know in the comment down below regarding what happened and as you can see i barely used the palette like what i said that is just the second time i used this palette and every time every time that i would use it that's that's what happened i don't know why probably in the next week or so we're gonna do that investigation let me brief them first just in case my eye gets irritated again. So that is my little rant for today. I just want to put it out there for you guys. What happened. What my experience is. And for our lids. I'm going to go in with the Pat McGrath Mothership Celestial Divinity Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. That is Odyssey. And I'm just grabbing a Makeup Shack T79 brush. I'm going to spray my brush. I'm going to grab some of the product first. Spray the brush with a setting mist. And then we're just pack it in to our eyeballs. I love Pat McGrath. They're just so pricey. And with a little pencil oh, brush like this. I don't know if this is a pencil brush. I don't even know what kind of brush I'm using. Once it does not have a name, I don't know what kind of brush it is. So just going in right here, soft motion, just like to blend it out. And I still do want to intensify that one. Going back with frame right here and just like halfway. And then getting the big blender brush that we first used. This is the Makeup Shack T12 brush. I'm just going to blend it all out right here so it goes seamless. So we entered the month of February. Like what I said, what do you guys plan? What are your thoughts regarding Valentine's Day? I am not really a big fan of Valentine's Day. Like for me, why do you have a set day to celebrate? It should be Valentine's Day every day. Like it should be Christmas every day. And going in with this shade right here, I'm just gonna tap it on the middle of our lid and I'm gonna try to do a wing for this eye which me love because you know how and me and the wing wing and I does not go together so I was able to do one let's see if I can do it in the other eye so I'm gonna leave it alone now. This is the wing that I did create it. It's kind of improvement before I cannot even do that. We're gonna go in with the primer and I'm gonna use the Elf Matte Party Primer. So I like to grab it on the back of my hand, my nails and then work it on my finger and slap it on my face. You might want to push this product in so it will peel, fill out your pores. For the wing, I still have to, I still need a lot of practice. And for my foundation, I'm going to go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Just stamping it on my face. Milani, I've been using that one for so long. It's like $9 and it really performs really good. It covers all of the blemishes. And for my concealer, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline H Rewind. I roll it too much. And to set our under eye, I'm going to go in with the Cody Airs Bond. Just on the areas that we did put the concealer. And this is also the powder that I'm going to use for baking. And to set the perimeter of the face, I'm going to go in the, with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. So I like to take it in a big fluffy brush and just like push it like this. Just basically to set it. So once we put our bronzer and the other product, it's not going to be, our face is not going to be tacky. And to bronze up our face, I'm going to go in with the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. Making sure you top your brush, upward motion, and going in with the Milani Luminoso. And for my highlight, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow and the shade Bloom Light. And for my eyes, I'm just going to go in with frame. And with alert, I'm just going to blend it all out. And for my highlighter, I'm going to go in with this Lovecraft Beauty highlight. And I don't have a shade name. So just taking it on the tip of our brow and also on our inner corner. Bam. And I want to pop some color on my uh, waterline. So I'm going to go in with this Fixie um, Endless Silky Pen Brightening Lilac. And for my lips, I'm going to go in with this NARS. This is the pigment. The NARS Yours No Get. This is like a pigment sheer thingy, my jingy. So going in with this one. And the only thing I need to do is just put some falsy in my bottom mascara and I will be right Hi guys, so I'm back. I just put the 
Ardell 252 false lashes. I used the Bad Gal Bang for my bottom mascara and this is the look that we did create it today. I hope you guys like it. So if you have any thoughts, experience, also same as mine using an eyeshadow palette, even though it's not the Bling Boss one, please leave me a comment down below. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can get notified on all of my future uploads. Thank you guys for watching.